Russ Sallow here, GPS to go. Thanks for coming into our website and having a good look around. If you're watching this video with me, your humble host, I imagine by now you may have looked at a video of ours explaining what our plug and play tracking systems do. Uh, you may have read some of the information. There's case studies. Maybe you saw the blog. So if you're looking for some information about, you know, how does the system run? What does the website look like? Uh, give me, you know, an overview of what it does. Well, this is the right place. So uh, remember, we are a no contract company. We have a product that's super easy to use. Uh, we even have seasonal suspend built in if you need it from us, just contact us for that. So I'm Russ Sallow, president of gps to go and enough of me talking about everything here. I will take you in right away and show you a video of a day in the life of GPS tracking as we see it. So thanks for watching and hold tight. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we're in on the web portion and uh, hopefully you saw our $50 trial offer. Um, you may have seen this video down here, which is our seven installs in 70 seconds, our most popular one. What that's telling us, right, is it doesn't matter almost what kind of vehicle you have. Uh, if it has a, a standard vehicle electrical system, we can help you. If it's, uh, you know, a, a vehicle from the 1940s and it has a 12 volt or 28 volt, 24 volt electrical system, we can help you. Um, we really shine with the modern vehicles that have the onboard diagnostic plugs or the uh, large ECM plugs in the tractor trailers and five tons and I'll show you that in a second. So our Go device platform is a plug and play platform and it is used as one example by United Parcel Service in over 70,000 vehicles. Um, another good example might be Pepsi Frito-Lay they have tens of thousands in there using this product, uh, Orkin Pest Control. And gps to go some of our house accounts, we do business with the Maids International, those people that clean your houses. We have many, many franchises of Service Master. Uh, we do all kinds, anything from HVAC, plumbing, contractors, heating, electrical. Uh, we have construction. We have people that deliver flowers. We have, um, you know, people that are in the medical field. So whatever you're doing out there with vehicles, we can probably help you. So where does this little plug and play device go? So remember again here, this thing is two by three inches, fits in the palm of your hand. This blue, this blue door on the side, we can call it a port. There's a mini USB connector in there and that allows us to add things in like a Garmin cable connection. This allows us to put in auxiliaries. This allows us to put in things like temperature uh, sensors, uh, you know, plug a, uh, a tablet into the side for people that are doing driver vehicle logs, uh, hours of service, electronic log books for the trucking industry. So this product, it's one platform that starts you off and it can do anything from A to Z. So let's have a look here, whether you have a car, pickup truck, these minivans, a full-size GMC uh, or Ford Econoline van. So all these vehicles have what's called an onboard diagnostic port. And that's usually under the dash here somewhere, whether it's a car or a pickup truck, right? And you look down near the parking brake, somewhere under the dash, this just plugs in. And here's a closer view of that idea. And then we have our security seal system. So if you look here, you can see there's some numbers, hopefully it's visible. There's numbers on this, serial numbers on our blue security tie wrap, and it also has our brand name on here. So once you wrap that thing through the wires at the back and around and cinch it up, it really helps stop uh, any tampering. If you have large trucks, like five ton straight trucks, they call them, here's tractor trailer. Inside the cab, they have a port you know, we sometimes call it an ECM port, right? J1939 protocol, this kind of thing. And it's either a six or a nine pin connector. We have an adapter cable and here's a cable with me holding it and the GPS plugged into the end of it and the security seal around it. And it's just that easy. So you plug that in 
and you can track these large trucks. No problems at all. So what we're going to offer today at the end of the video is our $50 paid two-week trial. This is about 100% of our customers get on board with us. So you supply a credit card, pay minimal shipping. If you like it, you keep that device because it'll be a fully active, ready-to-go device. And we will credit any trial fees into the purchase of the equipment. Uh, if you need it longer than two weeks, the next two weeks your credit card will auto charge another $50 and again you get that back in the cost of the hardware. Remember with us there's no contracts, no activation fees, there's no roaming charges, there's no overages, no charges like that ever. Plus uh, in most instances unless you are in a special pricing category with a franchise system we will buy the good working units back from you for 50% of the purchase price if you ever change your mind within the three years. So within the first three years, if you haven't changed your mind, phone us up, make arrangements and good working units, we will buy them back for 50% of what you paid for them. Remember our product is web-based with free tech support. There is a mobile app. You know, we will be able to do that for you. It's all ready to go. So, if you have any questions, you can email us with all of this uh, will be available here. Let's go in quickly and we'll have a look at what the login situation is here. So, you would go to a place that looks like this. It'll be my.geotab.com slash your company name. In here, I've got GPS to go test. So what I'm going to do is I've got a special email set up here for today with a password. So we would log in there again. This is fully mobile enabled. It's web based. There's no software to download. Uh, the product will, uh, you know, receive and give you all the updates for free and we update our system every month with little upgrades you know little tweaks there's no massive changing from one platform to another now I have been doing some testing inside here with some of our devices so these alerts for instance we've been doing uh, some testing and I'll explain some of that maybe in a little bit so let's get right into the fun of it 99 percent of the time people say hey show me where my vehicles are. I want to know where my people are. So if we click on the word map, we're going to see the map of Canada and the United States. Again, if I didn't make it clear, our service covers all of Canada and the United States. So anywhere that you need GPS tracking, we can help you out. So I'm going to look for a vehicle. So if I click in here, I've got one for today's demonstration called RE Test. So I'll just touch that. The map is going to refresh and we're going to see the RE test vehicle here stopped inside the home zone. So I can just touch the star and the star is going to tell us the date and the time. So stopped here on the 29th of May 2014 at 1251 and 56 seconds and it's inside the home zone so we've made this testing home zone here up here in this corner we've got tells us where we are so we're inside the home zone if I want to see what's been going on so what have I been doing I just have to touch trip history now our trips history our historical view is unlimited so as long as you are a paying customer as long as you've been tracking, you can go back to the first minute and see what's been going on. So if I click on the word trip history, I selected that for today because we have today's map going. And we're going to see everything that I did in the GPS to go truck. So we can see here that I was uh, overnight. So zone, home zone, the address. And this was overnight here, 12 hours, 21 minutes of stop time. This morning, 
So at 0835 to 0908, we left and went to the Kilbourne Mall over on McMaster Avenue. We had 33 minutes, 20 seconds, 27 seconds of stop time, 23 seconds of idling, 13 minutes, 9 seconds of driving. It was a 3-kilometer trip. And again, kilometers versus miles an hour. Those of you from the United States, not to worry. When you use this product, your computer that you're looking at will calibrate everything in miles per hour. So if you're in Canada, you'll see kilometers an hour. If you're in the US, you'll see miles an hour. And if I just touch this, we'll probably see an idling alert. Oh, I entered the zone. There we go. And we have a geofence or a zone around Pleasant Park School as a test. The next thing we did, we went back to the home zone on Ryder Street from 9-11 till 10-08. 57 minutes, 27 seconds of stop time. We had 2 minutes, 39 seconds of driving time. It was a 1 kilometer trip. So let's have a look and see what a trip looks like. Let's pick a good one here with a bit of distance, which is 9 kilometers. So I ended up over on Riverside Drive. I know what happened here. We were parked on the side of the road answering a cellular call where there's no civic address. And that's why it just says Riverside without an address. But if I click on this, 1040 to 1045, I was there for five minutes on the phone. If I click on this, the map is going to refresh and we're going to see a breadcrumb trail. And you can see leaving the gas station and you see here zone gas and coffee I made a zone or a geofence around the gas station coffee uh, store here and you can see that when I leave there if we move this tracking ball just watch as I move that very slowly you see the time changing second by second you also see the speed changing second by second so our reporting algorithm, what it will do is it will record second by second and it sends it out every 15 seconds. So let's move up here to this part. So if I just see here I'm at 20 seconds. And as this moves along, you can see it's very, very detailed. So watch, the speed is changing and the time is changing second by second. So it shows us the route, and I went all the way up here to the corner of Industrial Avenue and did a U-turn and circled back. And I ended up here at number one area. So this one is the same as this number one here. So I'm stopped on the side of the parkway here. Wherever I click on the map is where the map will center to as well. So this is where I stopped on the side, and there's no civic address here because it's on the side of the parkway overlooking the uh, beautiful Rideau River and I was on the phone for five minutes. If I want to see the next part of that trip, two kilometer trip, I ended up at another spot without any civic address and I think we didn't go far up the road. That's right, so we ended up over here near Billingsbridge Plaza and parked inside, I do believe, parked inside the parking lot where there would be no civic address at that parking lot. So the number two here is this number two. I hope that all makes sense. All right, so let's move on and have a look at some of the other fun things that you can do in here. Many, many times people ask, of course, uh, let's talk about things like speeding. Let's talk about idling. So if we click on rules and groups, our rules wizard is absolutely fantastic and it's loaded with the most popular kinds of requests, I guess, for rules and ways to save your bottom dollar every day. Harsh braking. This is our distracted driving. This is our distracted driving application inside of here. So this looks for a force of one G exerted on the vehicle. The driver would be thrown forward. So this is a good example of somebody jamming on the brakes and maybe they were 
talking on their cell phone and they were distracted, they tried to avoid a rear end collision. Hard acceleration, another one that's really good for saving money. Everyone knows that ra jackrabbit starts cost you a lot of money. So this can look for a third of the G exerted on the vehicle. So that means people are flooring the gas and it costs you more money. Hard stopping, hard starting. Here's your hard cornering. So again, our fantastic accelerometer built by the Geotab company inside the product is great for seeing are we driving and driving aggressively around corners. Very popular speeding. So our posted speed limits, so we have all the roads in all of North America with their posted speed limit. And if the vehicle breaks the posted speed limit, you'll know about it. So you can set this up. Let's go in here and do an example. I click on the pencil. And inside here, I can set up rules for speeding. So the conditions can be things like this. Is it a speed? Is it a duration? Is it a distance? So for instance, speed compared to the speed limit data over 20 kilometers. We can lower that to 10. We can have it during a certain amount of time. Is it less than 10 seconds? Is OK? Et cetera, et cetera. And the ever popular idling. So we set up a very simple idling rule, longer than X minutes. And if that happens, we can set it up that this will contact you and tell you for any of these rules, send an email, put an alert on the screen, add driver feedback, which I'll talk about. So if any of these rules that we talked about get broken, you'll get notified. Now, driver feedback is extremely cool and very, very neat because we are the only ones that do this kind of thing. If you had, for instance, hard acceleration, hard cornering, too much idling, too much speeding, you can set it up that that Go device will beep right in the cab all on its own when they break that rule. Beep three times, three times rapidly, and you can see the rest here. Text somebody, change status, so all of this is just fantastic. That will work when you're not paying attention and it will help you save dollars on your bottom line every day. One of the other ones that's very, very helpful, after hours usage. Do you have vehicles that are going out after hours? Are they taking your vehicles and doing side jobs? Are they going to the cottage at four o'clock on a Friday? So you'll know about it and you can have an alert sent to your mobile phone. You can have a report in your inbox on Monday morning. Any of those things can be done for you so you'll know about it. And that can be done for all of these. Possible accident. In today's day, risk management is something that's very important to people. So you can read along here the possible accident. 25 kilometers or 15 miles an hour in one second in any direction. So this will really help you understand whether the vehicle has hit something or has been hit. With the administration, you're able to have as many accounts as you need with this. And you can even share this with your customers who want to be able to track your trucks for deliveries. You can give them a view only account. Engines and maintenance. Engine data, huge, huge money saver. So we can help you with things like engine oil temperature, all of your coolants, brake pressures. That can all be read if your vehicle puts that out. Fuel usage report. See what's going on with your fuel. How much fuel are you burning? Get a trending report on how much over how long. Really can be helpful. Driver vehicle inspection reports and hours of service are all built into those that need it, they can get it. Let me click on the word vehicles here. So we do things that nobody else does. So if we click on our device as an example, here's our driver feedback. We can put our devices into groups. And you can also do your current status and have a look. Is the device communicating? 
is everything up and running a very quick and easy way to do that there it is and as a matter of fact one of our newest things you can look at all of the cadre of your vehicles your roster your fleet click on the watchdog report and tell yourself every morning at the blink of an eye are my vehicles reporting is everything up and running is it working real well so I'm gonna leave it there I'm Russ Sallow now look we're gonna put up at the end of this the PayPal button you'll be able to find that if you have any questions you can reach us here I'm Russ Sallow with GPS to go and thank you for sitting in again GPS to go now you know